Welcome to my lecture online. Our next problem on the JEE main test deals with measurements. In particular, it sounds like from the description of the problem that we're dealing with some sort of micrometer. Now, the problem states the following. It says the pitch of the screw gauge is one millimeter and there are 100 divisions on the circular scale. When nothing is put in between the jaws, the zero of the circular scale lines eight divisions below the reference line. Hmm. When a wire is placed between the jaws, the first linear scale division is clearly visible while the 72nd division on the circular scale coincides with the reference line. The radius of the wire is. All right. So what we're doing here is we're measuring the diameter of the wire, but notice they're asking us about the radius, so be very careful that you don't get that confused. Also, the zero reading is off. When we have nothing between the jaws, it says that it shows eight divisions below the reference line on the circular scale. Which means that when we close it all up, and this is not there, we close it all up, it doesn't quite get to the zero. It gets eight circular divisions away from the zero. So that means that when we read the diameter, we're actually Hmm. exaggerating the size of the diameter by eight of those circular divisions. So we need to subtract those eight divisions. So eventually what we can then say is that the diameter is equal to, well, first of all, they tell us that the first scale here of the, of the vertical scale is clearly visible. That means that's equal to 100 divisions on the circular scale, or that's equal to one millimeter. So the diameter of this is going to be one millimeter plus another 72 divisions on the circular scale, which is 0.72 millimeters. But then we have to subtract the error in the zero reading when we close it all up. We have this is eight circular divisions, so it means we have to subtract 0.08 millimeters from the total reading and so that means that the diameter is equal to 1.64 millimeter and since the radius is equal to the diameter divided by 2 that's 1.64 millimeters divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.82 millimeters and when we look at the possible answers you can see that C matches that result so it's a simplistic problem if you realize, first of all, what they mean by the offset of the zero reading. Is it on the other direction? Is, so they did say it's below the reference line, which means that the reference line would be visible because otherwise the reference line would not be visible if it was in the other direction, which means that when we close the jaws, there's nothing in between. We're actually below the zero reading, so we need to subtract that delta like we did here. We have clearly the first line visible as they indicate so that's one millimeter and then we're we have the 72nd division out of 100 so 0.72 millimeters added to that diameter of 1.64 millimeters but we're not asking for the diameter they're asking for the radius so we have to divide by two to get the right answer notice they're sneaky because notice this answer also appears and if you didn't realize that they were asking for the radius instead of the diameter you would definitely get the wrong answer and thinking you did it correctly. So there you go. Be careful about this one. And that is how it's done. The delta could be too. D is half. No, it's not half. No, not half. Well, that means that if you had counted it in the wrong direction, if you had added the 0 0.08 millimeters instead of subtracted, then you'd end up with 1.80 millimeters, you put big B, and then if you realize, oh, I'm looking for the radius, you divide 1.8 by 2, you get D, and so it's full of landmines, so to speak. You really have to be careful about this one, that you're interpreting it correctly, and that's not always easy to do, especially with the JAE main test uh, questions. It's not always clear what they're asking for, so you have to be careful. No short one on this one? No, sh no shortcuts on this one. No quickies. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>